Hi there and welcome back to our course. In this video, let's see how to set up color, image, or graded backgrounds to any object in Vector. Background is basically the filling inside of the object or layer in Vector. You can set up backgrounds and add them using the add button over here and add as many backgrounds as you like. For example, their background now is all purple. Let's set up a second background to be green and the third background to be red. We see the purple background since that background is first in the line. However, if we disable it, we will see green background. And if we rotate the red background to be upper in the line, we will see a red one. We can remove the background permanently by dragging it out of the filters panel into the working canvas and it will disappear. You can also set the background to be an image. Let's see how that works. Let's select the general area of our map. Uh, see, we have different same backgrounds I was there. Let's just delete all of them. So the background for now is just white. Let's add a different background. And make it an image. I pre-downloaded an image of a Pokemon to be the background for that map. Disable the white background and we see that the Pokemon is, uh, is on the background. You can double click it and move the Pokemon so it fits actually the map better. Then click somewhere on the working canvas to come back. As you see, those two are different layers that are on top of the Pokemon layer. So we can use the workspace tool to bring the Pokemon to the front, which will basically make it better visible. Let's create another page and see how the credit backgrounds work in Vector. Let's create a round and rectangle, for example, of our, oops, yeah, as its background is white for now. So uh, yeah, let's set the background to, let's say, blue. Oh yeah, now it's violet, right? So we have created an ellipse. Let's make it a little bit bigger. And now the linear gradient is basically the gradient, uh, the changing of the color linearly from one side to another. And in that example, it is from white to black. You can change the color, you can see here and here it's black and here it's white. You can simply click that white uh, anchor point and choose a color that you want. And you can click the black one and choose a different color, let's say green. Now you can see that in that example, the linear gradient changes from red to green. You can also add more points. We can add a point over here and set it to yellow, which will change the background from red to yellow to green. And you can also adjust those anchor points in order to make the background a bit different. We can also adjust them as we like horizontally and vertically. That's, that lets us modify the gradient as we want. Let's create another rectangle. Uh, and set the background to the Regial Gradient. Regial Gradient creates a gradient of a, a bit of an ellipse form. Uh, and so, again, in order to change the colors of that background, we can click the palette. And then here, select, for example, a purple color. And here, a yellow color. Same way, we can adjust the gradient and add different multiple other points in order to edit it. So you can so you can add different multiple backgrounds of 
uh, simple color or the red gel gradient and see which one actually works best for each of the figures that you create. 